Hey guys, okay. So we're just gonna roll with this because I have very limited internet and this is just, this is where I'm gonna work today. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this video, we're gonna talk about the different ways that you can create an income from home. Um, some of the different things I know of, some of the things that income streams that we personally have, and then hopefully you'll kind of be able to figure out like which one would we would be best for you. And if you have questions, you know, obviously you can contact me. Um, I'm not an expert in all the things, but I can at least point you in the right direction and, and just kind of let you know which ones I picked and what worked for me and why. Okay. Um, so if you're watching this video, chances are you're probably looking for a way to like create a side hustle side hustle or an income so the first thing that i did um and and whatever it's for whether you know you want to have an income because you just need to you know pay some extra bills or you know whatever so one of the very first things that i did when i was like 19 and pregnant was i did coupon sites because i didn't know what else to do you guys at that time um so that's an option you fill out surveys but honestly, it's like <laughs> really not worth your time. Um, yes, you can make money from it, but um, so there's that. Another thing that I did was I watched people's kids in my house. So like, you know, um, cause at the time I didn't want to send my kids to daycare. So I watched other people's kids. I didn't love that cause I don't really like other people's kids very much. So that was, you know, that one didn't work out so hot. The third one that I tried was I, found items that I didn't need around my house and I sold them. Or I would go to places like um, thrift shops and things like that and I would find items to fix up and flip. And again, um, that created like a little bit of a side income. However, it took a lot of time and the profit wasn't like super high. So I was maybe on a good month bringing in like 200 to $500 a month. Um, and I was really, really looking for something that would be able to replace a job because at that time I was a military spouse, you guys know that. And then I had two kids under the age of two at one point. And for me to go out and get a job, it just like didn't pay. So, in, so those were like some traditional things that you could do. Now moving into the like entrepreneurial side of things, if you're looking to create side hustles, there's different options out there. One of the options is something called affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, um, you can go onto these different sites and you can look for products to promote. And there's a lot of information on how to do affiliate marketing. You can do like advertisements, you can create a blog or a social media following and then monetize like your platform that way. Um, but essentially like, there's affiliate products for everything. So like, um, let's say that you were an affiliate for coastal.com or something, which is eyewear. You could then earn an income. So anyone who signed up through your advertisement, you would earn that referral commission. Is that making sense? So affiliate marketing is really popular. It's one of the ways that you can earn some different, you know, income streams and affiliate marketing happens to be one of my income streams. Now, if that's the route you're looking to go with, you're probably gonna want to look up how to be a successful affiliate marketer. Look at the snow, it's so pretty. It's, so, it's, pretty. it's a little chilly on my back, but it's like perfect. Um, Cause there's different ways that you can, you know, get people to buy your stuff. One of them might be, you know, starting a blog. Um, the, the way that bloggers typically will make money is that they will blog around a certain topic. So maybe you want to start a blog. Maybe you want to start like a food blog or, you know, something like that. Um, or whatever you are passionate about, you can start a blog. I started a blog and the blog that I started 10 years ago still brings me in a couple hundred bucks every single month from my affiliate commissions because not only did I find products to recommend, but I also earned money through something called affiliate or AdSense commissions. So that's done by like Google and YouTube, which brings me to the next part. You can start a YouTube channel. Now this does take a little bit of time um, and it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. But again, YouTube pays me a couple hundred dollars every month 
uh, to put out content. You could be a content creator, like a, you could create videos on like TikTok and get money for that, okay? The next thing you could do is you could, um, if you have any type of skill that you could teach to someone that you've learned, so maybe you've done painting or maybe you know how to knit the cutest little cat sweaters or something, you could, you know, do a tutorial on that, show other people how to do that, and you can turn it into a course. Digital products right now are huge. Digital products and courses are one of the biggest things that funds um, our revenue, one of our biggest revenue streams right now. Okay, so I have an affiliate commission stream where I recommend certain products. Um, I look for commissions that are a little bit higher. I also sell digital courses, so I help people with like the tech and social media side of their business. So they, you know, sign up for one of my courses. They pay me, they go through my course, and then there you go. So that's that's another thing, and I guarantee you, even if you think that you're like, oh, I don't have any skills or any, you know, I don't, what, what can I talk about? If you have an experience that you've overcome, you could turn that into a course. So that is an option. Now you do have to consider, you know, that you would be responsible for the marketing, the course platform, things like that. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but it's totally doable. Um, another, and then there's like these other options, you guys, like, you know, you could invest in ATM machines. I know it sounds silly, but we have someone that does that. Um, you could start investing into crypto, um, or, or Forex. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but I have friends right now and we're actually, um, my husband is very into that right now. And so he's looking into that. So if you're curious about, well, what the heck is crypto or Forex? Um, we know people who have been doing like 10 to $20,000 a month just from, just from that, you know, for like four hours a week and that's what they're doing. Now, personally, that's not my area of expertise. My husband's more interested in that. So if you're looking for details on that, um, I can certainly let you know the platform that we're using, that we're learning how to do those kind of like trades and stuff like that. And then last but not least, if there is a company out there whose products that you really enjoy um, or would you know use, you can also build up residual income. Now, this happens to be one of my personal favorite forms of income. I'm gonna be honest with you because it has a very low, um, what do you call that? Like a low startup cost and it has no experience necessary but it also has some of the highest earning and income potential, which for me, um, that's why I got started with this 10 years ago. So if you, didn't, if you didn't know that, 10 years ago, I was looking for something I could do from home. I needed it to make a lot of money. Um, and I needed it to replace, you know, a traditional income. And I know that, you know, MLMs and direct sales companies get a really crappy rep, you know, rep. It, they do but that's mostly because of how people on social media portray the company and it's very unfortunate because it, this has been like the most legitimate way for females especially to become self-made you know entrepreneurs and millionaires um than anything else and in my opinion it's one of the best easiest ways at, to get your foot in the door as an entrepreneur um now there are a lot of different companies out there. I'm not going to tell you in this video the one that I'm doing or using or no, nothing like that because what I want you to figure out is, hey, you know, that might actually make sense because here's the difference. So I love affiliate commissions because you're not personally responsible for the marketing of the product. You're not responsible for the product creation, you know, paying employees, things like that. Um, and even like creating a course, like that's, you're responsible for creating that content and marketing that content. And some people, you know, they don't want to do that. So for me, when I looked at building a team, which is residual income, not only do I earn retail commissions on the products that, you know, people buy through my link, through the company that I decided to partner with, um, which is a company that I like. So you, you know, you might want to find a product or something that you really enjoy using. So for me, I did that. Now, not only that, but what made sense to me was when I help other people get started and succeed, then they are also going to 
they're going to be part of my team. So I'm going to earn retail commissions and leadership commissions for building a team, which is residual. And that's really where that power came in. And so that's what really drew me to that industry. I personally love it. It's, it's so much fun. Um, it, it is, it's just really fun. <laughs> so anyways, and then there's a couple of tips that I have if you're looking for a good company. You probably want to find a product that is consumable and reusable. Um, not reusable, but that people are actually going to... Because there's just... There's a lot of companies out there that you're going to work your butt off for very, very little of a paycheck. So if you're looking into companies and you're like, hey, <laughs> I'm, you know... Um, I looked at a lot and it took me a good number of years to find the one that I'm actually with now that I love. Um, yeah, so it's all good. So anyways, if you're curious about any of that, um, just let me know. Uh, I hope you find this somewhat helpful or enlightening on the different things or the different ways that you could do like courses, crypto, affiliate marketing, starting a YouTube channel. Like there's so many different things that you could do. There really, really are. It just depends on what do you personally see yourself doing? What kinds of things align with your lifestyle goals? Like, so for me, I wanted something that was very low stress, not a lot of hands-on, I don't wanna craft, things like that. That's just not me. Um, so yeah, okay? Anyways, if you have questions, let me know. And yeah, I hope you found this somewhat helpful.